Mr. Skinny Dude again. Circular plate. <laughs> ah. Now we've got over the berm. Double dinger, left. <laughs> Damn, it's hot. White, black, orange pipes. <laughs> ah. We've got the ax blade. Can I hold under him just right? We've got the diamond. White Red Cross. Oh, and we are out. Let's reload. All right, now let's see if we can do this. Up. Damn it, I should have had the lever down. There we go. Okay. White Red Cross. Our next shot is the rock shot. Ah, didn't cock it. Ripping. Oh. Jail cylinder.
Mr. Dull White. Mr. Candy Cane's brother. <laughs> Big red gong. Miss Peppermint. <laughs> you know, let's try to go for that long shot that I missed earlier today. Uh, should not have missed it. <laughs> it's always like that after a match. Some of you might have seen my last video shooting my Spencer carbine. This is a model 1860, and if you recall, it shoots the 5656 cartridge, and I have an original, and here's my reproduction, and remember that 5656 is the diameter at the base and also mouth of the case. Now you can see my model 1867 full-length rifle, and it does shoot the improved cartridge at 5650, and here is an original again, and you can see that it is slightly necked down, and here is the reproduction of that case that I fired today. And also, as you remember, these are rimfire rifles. So in order to shoot a center fire cartridge, you need to use a breech block conversion. I've been very fortunate that this center fire breech block conversion is interchangeable in these rifles. So it was installed in this one for my last uh, video, and now I have it in my model 1867, and here is the original rimfire breech block. Um, lastly, I wanted to speak quickly about how they cycle and single load loading in the sense that the 1860 didn't really allow you to single load it easily. You could do it. Uh, then they added in 1865 something called the stabler cutoff and that would uh, prevent the lever from going all the way forward. And then you could single load the piece through the breech and still keep seven in the butt stock. The full length rifle doesn't have a stabler cutoff because it has a better cutoff that works naturally here. So I can move the lever all the way and then take them from the butt stock or I can just move it part way and it will hold those back and I can single load. All right.